January 26, 2016 marked the fourth annual Martin Luther King Memorial March at Fairfield University in Connecticut. We're in front of the Egan Chapel right now waiting for participants to come um, to join us in the MLK Memorial March and just commemorate um, Dr. Martin Luther King's work. And we stop at places on campus that have had an impact of student activism and social justice education here. Um, just participating in this event and showing my support for the school. I read to you from Martin Luther King's second book, Strength to Love, from 1963. Returning hate for hate multiplies hate, adding deeper darkness to a night already devoid of stars. Darkness cannot drive out darkness, only light can do that. Hate cannot drive out hate, only love can do that. We return to these spaces with love, an affirmation of the Jesuit principles that make us unique as Fairfield University faculty and students and staff, but also as human beings who appreciate the fact that only love conquer darkness. Only justice can conquer injustice. Students, faculty, and staff marched from Egan Chapel to the Dominion Ellis Library, then to the Stag Statue, and finally ending at the Brown Campus Center. The first protest for racial justice at Fairfield University was 1969. 47 years ago, the black students on campus took over Xavier Hall and Canisius Hall. And that's where all this started. I'm here today to honor Dr. King and the work we've done here on campus and to educate the community on what we've done here on campus and what we're trying to do moving forward. Um, I'm here today uh, because I'm a student activist on campus. Um, I definitely feel the um, the effects of racial ostracization here on campus, and I want to be a big part of helping put an put end to that for myself and others. I was a part of this march just because um, racial justice and social justice on campus and throughout the world is really important to me. Um, so whatever I can do to help out and change the campus for future students, um, I'm here. In the past 18 months, Racial Justice is Social Justice, or RJSJ, a student activism group on campus, have held many demonstrations, implemented cultural education in the first year experience course for freshmen, and even created a new academic course. I think it's great to raise awareness um, about racial issues on campus, and of course with all the work that Martin Luther King Jr. did for us, um, it's very important that we make the, the rest of the student body and the rest of the Fairfield community uh, know what's going on. Without dialogue, without conversation, without action, no change can possibly be done here on campus. And so RJSJ is really just trying to embody Dr. King's legacy and to address it on our campus here at Fairfield University. We also created the Black Lives Matter course. Uh, so very tangible institutional changes that not only will help us, but help our future uh, minority and black students on campus. But what RJSJ has been able to do to be so successful in the last 18 months is that we've been able to have an institutional effect on with our work. We've been able to establish um, a productive relationship with faculty, staff, and the administration. And Father Von Arps hears us, and the board members hear us. The rest of the students that aren't participating, I, I know that they hear us. You know, the students just a while ago when we were walking, I know they saw us. 